At the end of a bruising year for the European Union, the final summit of 2012 was tinged with a sense of optimism. Greece got the latest slice of bailout cash, and union leaders agreed to rubber stamp the finance minister's decision to hand the role of banking watchdog to the ECB. That was as far as it went on full banking union, with plans to come back to discuss a joint resolution fund to rescue ailing banks next year, when Ireland will hold the rotating presidency. We mustn't forget that we also have the discussions on the multi-annual financial framework, which will also take a lot of time. Uh, following that, the, the uh, reform of the CAP, sectoral reform, and up to 70 pieces of legislation to be put through the Parliament. And I hope that we can, we can deal with the image of Europe and the perception of a union that's actually working uh, towards particular objectives of growing economies. As a German election looms, Chancellor Angela Merkel made officials drop any mention of a shock absorber fund backed by France which would have benefited Spain. Despite that, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy appeared happy with the outcome. A new objective has been included in European policy that's very important for Spain. That is special attention to youth unemployment. When I first got here, all I listened to was talk about fiscal discipline and austerity. Today, after being in power for just one year, we are already speaking about growth and a banking union. Our correspondent in Brussels, Isabel Marquez da Silva, says, Despite the approval of a roadmap for banking union, 2013 will be marked by recession, a possible bailout for Spain and elections in Italy and Germany. These difficult issues led EU leaders to put off discussions on setting a budget for the Eurozone or even a deposits guarantee scheme for banks, businesses and individuals. Isabel Marques da Silva, Euronews, in Bruxelles.